Okay, guys, um, what we're going to do here is, this is just a quick review of uh, today's lesson. Um, what we're focused on is the bacteria shapes, okay? Uh, and the three main shapes go by the scientific term is bacillus, coccyx, and spirilla. Moving forward here, here's some guiding questions. This is what you should be thinking about. This is what you should also uh, be able to answer at the end. It, it, it's information that you're really looking for that you really want to focus on. Okay, so one thing is we got to pay attention. Number two, also uh, take some notes here. All right, so we're looking to see if we can identify the three main bacterial shapes. What does coccyx, spirillum, and bacillus mean? And how can you tell the difference between bacillus, streptococcus, staphylococcus, and spirillum bacteria shapes. So moving forward here, um, we started with the uh, first shape that you'd see some bacteria, and that's a round, circular, spherical shape. Okay, really want to use our, our best uh, terms possible, and spherical would be that term. Um, and if you look at the meaning here of coccyx, a berry, all right, and this does look similar to like a, a berry type shape. It was like a blueberry. All right, so here's um, the coccyx form of bacteria. Now over here on the other side, you see diplococcus. Again, coccyx, berry, round, so you still see that round uh, spherical shape here. But diplo means pairs, all right, pairs. And you can see two um, here in a pair, all right? So that's what diplococcus means, all right, bacterium in a pair. Moving forward, we have streptococcus. If you've ever had strep throat, think to yourself, if you have, uh, this is what caused it, right? The streptococcus bacteria. Now, again, coccyx means uh, spherical, that berry shape. Still looks the same, right? If we go back and look at coccyx here, um, you still see that, that circular spherical shape. But the difference between the previous slide and what you see here is... Think to yourself for a second, what's the difference? They're connected, okay? They're both still spherical, but you see they're connected. Um, they're, they form chains, and strepto means bent, twisted, pliable. And you can see how some of them are bent here. They can twist or starting to twist here, okay? Uh, moving forward, we had our staphylococcus bacteria. Um, anyone who's familiar with the staph infection, recently in a, a few years you've had MRSA outbreaks, um, and this is what it's connected to right here, your staphylococcus bacteria, hence the word staph. Right? And staphylo means a bunch of grapes. So you see this type of bacteria, which is usually found in the throat, on the skin, um, uh, the hair, nose, um, it forms these little clusters, right? these grape-like clusters. So uh, you know, if you've been in the produce section of the, the grocery store and you're buying grapes, uh, this is usually what they come in, a nice cluster. Um, and this is your staphylococcus bacteria. Again, coccyx is that spherical shape, and you can still see it, see it consistently here. Moving forward, we had um, spirillum, okay? That's a, um, uh, a long, thin... Um, coiled type shape of bacteria, okay? And you can see that form in here. And spiral does mean spiral or coil. So we talked about in class pasta, spiral type pasta, very similar to the shape of this type of bacteria. And you can see a great view of uh, spirilla right here uh, from, a, from a microscope, okay? Um, and also the third and final was bacillus. That's a rod shape type bacteria. You can see this. Um, you have your rod shapes uh, right here. And usually, um, these are chain-like, uh, mostly probably found in soil and in, in, in the dirt, okay? Um, and you can see it. Here's some, some individual ones back here, not a close-up view. But here, here's one right here, this guy right here. All right, you can see that, that rod-shaped. Uh, and here, you can see that chain-like uh, shape that they, they usually form. Okay, if you're familiar with anthrax, this is the causative agent um, in anthrax. All right. So a quick review. Our three shapes are rod, um, twisted or spiraled, and our coccyx are spherical or round. Okay.
Any questions? If you do, okay, write them down, bring them in. Okay.